Pastor Clark. Karen. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I was just wondering, have you had a chance to read my thesis? No, I haven't. But it's, I'm working on it. We're going to get to it soon. Okay? Professor Clark? Yes? Is it possible that you can get to that sooner than later? Karen, you are my best student. But it's time to take a vacation. You have all of your life to be smart. But to be young, you need to take a vacation. You did all of this reading, Karen. It's time to live some of that. Go take a vacation. Spend some time on the beach. Take some pictures. Show me the pictures when you get back. Okay? Enjoy your summer. Okay, Professor. Hey, girl. breakfast? I made some eggs, lard, and pancakes. What well, I look like eating pork fat. Well, that's the way we do it in New Orleans. Put a little ketchup on it. It's that deal. What you working on? You working hard today? <sighs> yeah, you know I'm trying to finish my thesis. Of course. You know, why my professor out of all people today tell me maybe I need to take a break? Maybe I need to take a vacation. My professor, I'm trying to, you know, finish just to impress him and he's gonna say something like that. Why would you say that to me? Because maybe you need to take a break and go on vacation? I don't know. Man, I have been stressing lately. I do have some savings saved up in my account. So we going on vacation? I got this. <clears throat> I got this red bikini. My closet that I've been dying to wear. First of all, Miss Thing, I said I might take a vacation, and if I do, who said you're coming anyway? Girl, please, you know you ain't leaving me. If you go, I go. I don't know, maybe it'd be cool, me and you, just the girls. Why don't you bring your mom? Bring my mom? Girl, your mom is more fun than you are, and I need a partner to party with. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you know, she actually probably would like that. And the last minute travels. What you find? <laughs> Look, speedy travel agency. What you think? Yeah, call them. They'll get us there in a hurry. I don't know. Let me look for this. <sighs> I think about it. I just maybe later this year, you know, maybe just. just Right now, the time is not right. I just want to finish my thesis and we'll see, but I'm not saying no, I just, I don't know right now. So, let me get back to work. Oh, okay. Does it sound like you're going to vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that to you. Whatever. woman Karen who is oh I heard about you you can't keep a man look you don't know anything about me what I do know is that you can't keep a man it's over between you all two <laughs> well you tell Rodney that if he was a real man he would have the heart to tell me that himself Get dumped?
enjoy your youth. Take a big picture. Girl, please, you know you ain't leaving me. If you go, I go. Chichi stay here with me, okay baby? Okay, Chichi. Oh Listen, work, work right now. Okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna sell. Okay, baby? Hello, Speedy Gonzalez Travel Agency. How can I help you? Hi, who is this? Uh Jose Manuel Veracruz Gonzalez. You can call me Speedy. Hi, Speedy. This is Karen. Um I want to book a trip. Yes. Bahamas. What were you looking at? I don't know. Um, Bahamas Mexico. is dangerous. Mexico. Here. Aquí? This house. No. They come here. In my house. Yes. Our house. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm looking right now, and we have a great spot in Mexico. It is a beach house. A big beach house. You know, I prefer not to go somewhere um, that speaks a different language, so um, can't you maybe check the rates in the Bahamas? No, you don't want to go to Bahamas because it's very dangerous right now, and I heard they have some kind of like poisonous iguana yes, out there poisonous. where people are getting sick. I don't want to make you sick. You, you want to come to Mexico because right now it is a great time of the year. And this is when we have great specials. Mexico. Okay. Um, well, what kind of race do you have? Actually, we have a great beach house available right now. We have one left. It's a very big, beautiful beach house. Okay. And how much does this cost? If you stay uh, four nights, what I can do is I can throw in two nights free. Okay, let me see. I get four nights, two free. I really want you to get this, Karen. So what I can do is I can throw in all-inclusive, food included, and um, and like I said, you know, you and your friends and your family can come here. Okay. Okay, um, okay how about this? How about you um, email me some details and I'll get back to you, okay? No, no, no. Look, I really want you to get this, Karen. And, you know, I can't guarantee I'm gonna hold it and it's gonna go quick. You sound like you need a vacation. I do need a vacation. If you get this, like I said, you are gonna have the time of your life. So I have free food, four nights, two nights free, it's on the beach, lots of rooms, free margaritas. Um, okay, I think you have yourself a deal. Yes, yes, okay, great. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm actually, I'm actually excited. Thank you, Speedy. Thank you. I'm very excited too. So I'm CG excited story. that you're excited. <laughs> okay, well, okay, go ahead and send me the um, details, and we'll be in touch. I love you. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Bye bye. 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 Okay. Well, Mexico, Mexico, it is. Will you hurry up? I'm ready. You are the only one still packing. This is ready. I guess I should call my mom, huh? Yeah, call her. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello? Hey, Ma. Hi, Karen. How you doing, baby? How are you? I'm good. I'm cooking. Oh, good. I hope you're cooking my favorite I'm on my way home. Of course it's your favorite. Everything that I make for you is your favorite. Mom, I have a surprise for you. You and your boyfriend are back together. Mom, you know we're not back together. Why do you keep bringing him up? Mm -hmm. That's because she got dumb. You and your boyfriend are pregnant. Well, I'm not pregnant. Pregnant? Oh, is it right, niece? Karen, you have magnificent hips because you have my hips and you can produce beautiful children. But Karen, I am not ready to be a grandmother. Mom, we're taking a trip. We? We? 
to Mexico. Me, my girl, and you. We are taking a trip to Mexico? Ah, oh God. Oh wait, hold on. I got another call coming in, hold on. Ma, ma. She put you on hold. Yeah, act like she got some man or something. Hello. Oh, hey you. How you doing? At least she act like she got a man. I don't need a man. Again, I am in school doing my work. Cooking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to see you too. Listen, I'm on the phone with my daughter. We're going to Mexico. Oh, really? You've got some time. Girl, I'm not going to be with you forever. You're going to eventually have to get somebody or you're going to be living with a cat. Well, let me talk to her and um, I'll get back to you. Okay? Stay sweet to me, baby. All right. Karen, listen, girl, um, I have something I need to talk to you about. Mom, you know what? I have to go. I will see you in a few. I love you. I love you. Mm, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> okay. I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to Mexico. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Get up. Let me Do see I look ready? Get up. Get up. Meet me in the middle. In the middle. Now, are you ready for Mexico? <laughs> Don't I look ready? No. Loosen up. Uh, okay. Okay. So we going to Mexico. See, that's just stink. Whatever. To prove to me that you're ready for Mexico, I want you to cha-cha out that door. I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to Mexico. Mexico. I don't want to go to Mexico. Hey, no, no more, 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 more. No, you want to go. Oh, that, oh, oh. Hey, at my door, door, door. Break it down. We gonna work on that. It's, yeah. Karen, Tina, could you get off the laptop, please? Let me just finish. Let me just finish this. No. Don't you have like two months to finish that? Yes, I just want to finish this one section, okay? We'll be in Mexico in less than 48 hours. You cannot be doing thesis work right now. Put it away. Plus, I want to talk. Tina, you're driving. I am typing, okay? You're driving, I'm typing. I can talk to you while I type, you know that. It's not the same, I wanna talk. Okay, what do you wanna talk about? Something really serious and dear to my heart. Okay. What, I'm listening. Close it. My hands are right here, I'm not gonna type. Close it. My hands are here, Tina. My hands are right <laughs> Okay, can, okay, can I save it? I have to touch the keys to do that. Okay, Go. okay. It's close. Okay. So what do you want to talk about? It's something really serious, girl. What happened? Did you see that Chris Brown and Rihanna broke up? No, for real. Like, I see them out, and sometimes they're, they're both at one place, but like he's over there and she's over there and we don't know if they're together or not. What you think? You think they're still together? I think that I don't want to talk about that. I don't care about that. I am working on my thesis right now and you want to gossip about some Chris Brown and Rihanna, Raina, whatever her name is. I don't care about them. I don't care about the relationships. You know that. It's Rihanna. Rihanna. Excuse me. Rihanna. Speaking of relationships, let's talk about your ex-relationship. Let's not. Mm, he's still wrong for what he did to you, girl. He's so wild for that. You know, what gets me the most is not the fact that he broke up with me. I don't understand after everything I've been through with him, everything, I pretty much support him. And you gonna leave me for a white woman? You gonna leave me for a white woman? <gasps> Wait, I got to stop the car. He left you for a white woman? Wait, stop the press. He left you for a white woman? Yes. Now we can continue. Shut up. That is so OJ Simpson. What? Whatever. Oh my God, Amber 
Barack Obama just got elected? See, that's exactly why they want to tell you. That's exactly why they want to tell you, because you're always joking about stuff. Girl, I'm serious. You want to go bust the window out of sky? No, it's, it really is not that serious. It's not that serious. I'm, I'm so over him. I Look at me. Look at me, okay? I'm in medical school, working on my thesis. I don't have time for that, right? The last thing I want to see right now is a man, okay? I cannot wait to go on this trip with me, you, my girls. Look, you you can do your thing. I don't have time for that. I'm saying, I wouldn't say the last thing I want to see is a man. I mean, come on. You don't want to be looking at each other the whole time. <laughs> what I mean is, T, that I don't want... I'm, I'm, I'm over that. I'm over man. Good to see you too. I'm Mike. Mom, would you please stop trying to hook me up with guys? <laughs> hook who up? What? <gasps> so you and him, and this is your boo, and you ain't got no man? <laughs> Awkward. Mom, can I see you in the kitchen, please? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you so funny. Grown folks only. So, when were you born? 83. So, what's up? Who is this guy? That's my friend Mike. What you mean, your friend Mike? It's my friend Mike. What kind of friend, Mom? I mean, there's a number of friends. Friends that help around the house. There's best friends. There's male friends. He's all of those. Well, can't you find a friend that's older, maybe someone more like Dad? Well, it's not quite that simple. It's not like I can go out somewhere and order a man with the exact specifications as your father. What, T? Oh, since y'all left me to babysit, I just came in here to get some cereal and milk for Bam Bam. T, we are having a conversation here. Fine. If he don't get no need, it ain't my fault. <laughs> See, Ma, you are embarrassing me in front of my friends. Karen, you are embarrassing yourself. You are the first person in this family to go on to college to earn your PhD. And here you are tripping over the concept of a friend? Oh, wow, you're using the word tripping now? Yeah. All right, T, let's go. I guess my mama got a boyfriend. Sure is some good food, Sylvie. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones? I call her Sylvie. Hmm. I like Sylvie. It makes me feel frisky. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, are you in school? Finished school. Finished up in night school. High school? Yeah, it's high school, except at night. Right. Mm -hmm. Finish the top of my class, too. Really? How mm -hmm. many people were in your class? Two. You know, I really am expecting this Mexico trip. <laughs> <laughs> you invited him to Mexico? I tried to tell you, but you got off the phone so quickly. Is this going to be a problem? I guess not, Mother. You're calling all the shots. Oh, speaking of shots, are you over 21? No worries there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like your daddy. Oh. Stop. <laughs> so, Mike, what do you do? I'm a source. Well, I'm in school. I got 36 hours left. He's a school mother. He needs the hours for his certification, and I'm only trying to help. So this pervert is where practicing on my mother. Pervert? Rubbing all over your body. Anyway, 
Speaking of school, see what told me you was in college. How's that working out for you? You get good grades? Yeah. Are you making good grades? I don't get grades. I'm working on my thesis. You know what that is? You don't get grades. No thesis. Mike, um... Never mind. So you're teaching him mother. You're raising him. Why don't you teach him some manners? Manners? What's talking about manners? That's a seed. No. Oh, pardon me. Mike is a guest in our home, and you would be mindful to show him some manners. Thank you very much. Yeah, respect your elders. You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. So she ain't gonna eat. Can you pass me this? Mm -hmm. Oh, and right back at you. so beautiful. Karen, I am so glad that you brought me along. I just want to relax, kick back, and enjoy myself, no stress. This is going to be the best vacation ever. This is going to be the best vacation ever. Who are you? Ah, I am Chi Chi. This is my house. Welcome to Mexico. And my okay, Speedy. Okay, Chi Chi, where is Speedy? Mm -hmm. and Speedy is my boyfriend. He's around here somewhere, puppy. We're okay. right here. Buenvenidos a Mexico! Como what esta? is this? Eh, no comprendo. I don't speak the English too good. Oh no, Speedy. Everyone in Mexico speaks English. Damn. Okay, Karen. I haven't been completely honest with you. Uh, Chi Chi and I live here. What? What do you mean you live here? You promised me a vacation home with me, for myself. Friends, family. It's a big house. I mean, there's enough room for all of us. How about you give him my money back? I can't do that. I I put the money into the house. He like I fell behind. Oh and my I don't goodness! Lose you know what? Girl. We're leaving. No, 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 no! Come on, just hear me out for a sec. Look, just give us a couple days, and in the meanwhile, Chi Chi is an amazing cook. No, and, no. And we'll have Mom, fun. Tea. We'll make some drinks. Mom. Chi Chi makes great food. She's really fun. You know. Get your stuff and leave it. Leave it? Whoa, wait, wait. There's an inty winty polka dot bikini waiting for me on that beach. I'm not leaving. Oh, Karen, this is a huge house. Huge. The the, the beach, the, the space, the art, the everything. And, and Chi Chi makes the best enchiladas. The yes. best. I mean, it is so. Listen, good. it's my family recipe. I take the cilantro and I chop it really fine and then I put that with some lime okay, in the no, blender. No, no, no. Chi Chi, hi. Okay, this is gonna get on my nerves right now. Okay, this right here. You make sure that I don't see either of them for the whole vacation. Okay, mama, we need to get her a boyfriend. Papi, what's that your friend name? Paco, Pepe. Carlos. Okay, whatever. We're gonna get her little boyfriend. We're gonna get you one too. You want one too? Come here, we're gonna. You got a little bikini? Mm hmm. I got one too. Hey! Papi, look at all this. They prepared. It's gonna be great. We're gonna. Money, we're gonna make it happen. This is not food, this is just 
tomato and bread. This is food. This is pan tomate. No, no, but I, I promised them food. This, this is good, Papi. Try it. This is the rave. Okay, try it. Try it for me. Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm good, no thank you. Okay, a diet for you? I agree. Mm. Thank you. Keep your strength. So how old are you anyway? I'm 25. You got a job? No, I'm in school. You live with your parents? No. Oh, so you live with mine? No. So why were you over there that morning? I had something fixed for it. What? I talked to her about that. I don't like you. It's not about you. No, it's about my mother. You know what? You underestimate your mother. <laughs> I don't underestimate her. That's exactly why I don't want you trying to pimp her. Pimp her? You know what? I gotta use the restroom. Why do you insist on being so mean-spirited? I don't like him, and I don't like him being here. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think that you were trying to undermine my happiness. I think that you're actually bothered because you and Rodney broke up and you don't have anyone anymore. Oh my God, Mom, why would you even bring that up? It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with you dating a 25-year-old boy. Wait till you're 50 years old. You'll see. But in the meantime, could you please try to salvage our vacation and make nice? just so that we can get through this. Whatever, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me just come over here with you. What is this again? This is pan tomate. Pan tomate. Si. This is good. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Now listen, what is going over there? Because I feel the extension, like attention. Is, I don't like attention in my house, you know. I have a peaceful house. I have a loving house. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Okay, so. Mama got a boyfriend, mm -hmm. daughter don't got no boyfriend. Okay. Daughter got dumped, but mama still got a boyfriend. So you know what I'm saying? So, daughter hating on mama. Hateration. Hateration. Mm -hmm. Hateration. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. No like it, no. Let me tell you why. Do you know how much I had to pay this guy, what was his name, uh, this priest over there for the church to come and do like this whole limpieza. He come with the holy water and he puts all over the house that gets all the evil spirits out. And you know, I cannot be having. Mm. Y'all take this, uh, this brand tomato. It tastes like chicken. Honestly, you know what? I don't know why I can't keep a man in my life. Well, what kind of man are you looking for? A fine man. Okay, so like a Blair Underwood? Of course. Okay, next. A man that has money. Drug money, business money. Business. Blair Underwood with business money, next. I want a man that is romantic, compassionate, sexy. You know, someone could just sweep me off my feet. Surprise me. Okay, so you want Blair Underwood with money, who's sexy, fun, and passionate, did you say? There you go. Okay. I know exactly why you ain't got no man. Why? Because he's gay. <laughs> Whatever, and what about you, T? Girl, Tyrone used to like me because I was loose with it. Or maybe you're just a floozy with it. Who you calling a floozy? I'm just saying. I'm saying, like, he was fine and strong and dumb. Girl, he was dumb as the rocks on the beach. But really, why can't I keep me a man? I mean, look at you. You're stiff, you're stern, you're sitting on a computer and we're in Mexico. I'm sorry, I'm just a hard worker, okay? I get that from my daddy, right, Ma? <laughs> Let me tell you about your dad. Your daddy and I met when we were in college. He played basketball and I was a cheerleader. You, you were a cheerleader. Yes. Let me see a cheer. Come on, Ma, show us a cheer. Ready? Okay. We are the comments, mighty, mighty comments. We are the comments, mighty, mighty comments. Ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay, Ma, that's enough. That's enough. Sit down, please. Ma, you're embarrassing me. Is that sure enough for you? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Ma, so you were saying? Another thing that you did not know about your daddy was that he was just a little bit thuggish. He was not a thug. His street name was Top Dog. Top Dog? Is he related to Snoop Dogg? <laughs> anyway, he was a man of integrity, a good provider. He loved me. And then you came along. I just want you to know that I'm not trying to replace your daddy. But life goes on. Oh, that is so sweet. I just, y'all got some tissue. Shut up, T. Oh. Look at these fools. See, this is exactly why I don't want to be vacationing with them in this house. Anyways. I'm on vacation and I want to get away from this nonsense. You're stressing me out. Well, look, I've tried to work things out with you. Because you're cheating on me. So why did I catch you with that girl? Yeah, right. Well, I've heard this story before. I'm getting ready for bed. Ray Ray. What happened to him? Bail him out for what? Why should I bail him out? Cause you always asking me for money, that's why. I have the right to have an attitude. After everything you put me through, I don't? Well, I'm not. How much? Rodney, please. Well, why don't you ask that girl? The girl I cost you with. What you mean? I'm not telling you what I have on. Why don't you go through my stuff? What? Bye, Rodney. Bye. What a nerd trying to come out here with me. Come in. Hi, Mom. Hi, Cameron. Come on in. Come on in here. What's up? So did you guys figure out the sleeping arrangements? This is a nine room house. Mike has a very nice room and a very nice view of the ocean too. Hmm, that room wouldn't happen to be your room, would it? No, dear, it's not. Okay. I just, you know, I don't... I know, I know, I know, I know how you feel about it. And just know that um, it's all gonna be very respectable and very dignified and I won't embarrass you. Well, this is still a surprise to me. Surprised to me too. I had no idea. Hello? Hola. Oh, Chi Chi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Look at you. Mira te, mami. Hey. Listen, that is some nice little piece of chocolate you got over there. Do you need a little body favor or something, you know? Oh, no. Chi Chi, Chi Chi. I have it covered. Thank you. You have what covered? That's what I'm saying. Cover it. I, I didn't mean anything by that. I mean, every, we have, we brought everything that we need. We're good. We're good. Hi, okay. You're good. I 
Do you wanna go with Speedy and I? We're gonna go into the jacuzzi? Make a little bubble. Oh, you know? maybe tomorrow. I mean, you're going tonight, right? Yeah. No, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Mom, are you meeting this guy somewhere tonight? No, darling, I am not. I'm <laughs> gonna be right here. This is a vacation, Karen. I need for you to loosen up. And by the way, I want you to know that I really appreciate how you've been playing nice and making nice, and I'm very proud of you. So thank you very much. And I mean, like I said, it, it's it's a surprise to me. I just didn't expect this. Sometimes little things happen. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Mm hmm. Yes. Knock before you come in. Stop. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You better knock. You better knock. I'm gonna knock. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the music really loud so we don't hear. Okay. No, no, no. She's, she's messing with you, Karen. Okay, mom, she's that's just, not funny. She's, she's messing, messing with you. With you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, Mike, baby, what's what's wrong? What's up? Couldn't sleep. Guess I'm up from the trip. Oh yeah, that ride can be tiresome. Well, you know, <clears throat> whenever I am, I don't know, wound up and I can't get to sleep, I like to do something that's gonna wear me out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I like to dance. Dance? Yeah, come on, let me show you what I got. Dance. Dance, baby, dance. Come on, come right. on. We're gonna do it old school style. This is gonna be the boogaloo. The boogaloo. All about rhythm. Come okay. on. Follow me, come on, come on. Like that? Yeah, that's it, you got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I like this, this Ooh, is nice. Yeah. T. What? You got it. Okay. Well, we had this dance called the Wop. The wop. I've never heard of that. Those. Ooh. Like that. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh -uh. Oh, your hips. Ooh. Yeah. It's in the hips. Yeah, you got a thrust. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? What is that? Your mama. Is that it? Having sex. Shut up. You like that? Oh, God. You all right? You okay? Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Wait. Wait. Let's try to stand oh. up. All right? Oh, my. Oh. All right. I'm giving you a big oh. one. Oh. Oh! That right there, did you hear that? What is happening? That's what grown people do, girl. They have sex. Well, half grown people. You know what I mean. Like it? Why don't we try something a little bit, a little bit easier. All right. Okay. I was the queen of this one. All right. It's called the bump. The bump? Yeah. Yeah, okay, watch the me. bump. Ah. Bump. The bump. And I was the queen. You the queen. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Recognize, baby. That's the right. Queen. Show me what you got, baby. Mm -hmm. Bump. Yeah. Bump. Mm. Bump. Yeah. Bump. Give me what you got. I like that. Come I'm on, give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me. You like that? Uh huh. Yeah. I'm going to give you what I got. Give me what you got, baby. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Mike. Mike, are you okay? Okay, you know what? We need to go in there. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, get up. I told you I want to come. I want to see you. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Go, mama. Go. Shh. You think they have a sex in there? No, I think they playing checkers, of course. And... Right there, like Ooh. that. Uh -uh. What is going on in here? I'm gonna go join mom. I'm going back to sleep. I'm keeping my eye on you. I don't want you here. Why don't you want me here? Isn't it obvious? What's so obvious about it? That you're a 25 year old boy dating someone twice your age. But I make her happy and that's all that should matter. No, you make yourself happy. Have a mother to take care of you, cook for you, clean up after you, dress you. She's taking care of you, little boy. Why do you share your misery with everyone else? Oh boy, how about another scenario? 
Would you like your dad to be with a 25-year-old woman so you can see yourself with? Oh, is that what this is about? What? You see yourself with me. Oh, please. I don't want you, boy. I don't need to take care of a man to keep him in my life. And my mother damn sure don't either. Is that right? That's right. How about this? I'm gonna make this simple for you. You up for a friendly game? What game? Doesn't matter. What I mean, game? you a man. Don't try to coward out now. I'm with it. Okay. How about a friendly game of b-ball? Hoops. <laughs> oh, is that funny? Oh, you think you can school me? Oh, um, absolutely. Okay, here's the wager. If I win, you have to leave immediately. And if I lose, which I won't, you can stay. You want to place your mother's happiness on a game? It is what it is. I'm with it. And I have you know, honey, that I was the captain of my basketball team for four years. It's still counting. You might want to change your clothes. I'll see you in 10. See you there. Something has to be in here. Come on, Mike, what are you hiding? Oh, oh a picture. Sorry it didn't work out. I'll always remember our times together. Call me if you need anything. Maggie. And she left a number. That's all I need. Enjoy it. 
see you tomorrow. Going to my room. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all go? Y'all just gonna leave me with the dishes? Make sure you're happy. Surprise. Hi, I'm Sylvia. And you are? I'm Maggie. My friend. Mm, look like Mike got two friends. I'm so glad you can make it, Maggie. Thank you. I want to talk to you in the, in the kitchen. Make yourself comfortable. Plan two. Ooh. Grown folks only, we already talked about this. So, where y'all meet? Take care. <laughs> hey, hey, that's a good one. What are you doing here? Your friend Karen called. She said you were feeling good. So here I am. Coming to rescue you. Man, she's been trying to set me up the whole time I've been here. So what's going on with you? I don't, I don't understand the tension. She feels as though I'm trying to pimp her mother, like, like I mean her some kind of harm or something. Okay, I've been knowing you for what, five years? Can we do real talk? Okay, real talk is, you got this older woman with money, you don't have a job, and you want her daughter to believe that what, you, you, you gonna take care of her? She has every right to think that. You know it's not common to, think that an older woman should date a younger man. It looks like she's, she's dating her son. If it was the other way around, an older man dating a younger woman, that's crazy, because that's the way it's always been. But what is this deal you can't handle Karen? When you go out into the world, you're going to take her to the movies. They're going to say, is, is that your mama? So what are, you, what are you stressing out for this situation? The world doesn't matter. This is her daughter. She matters. OK, the world will matter, because her daughter is a part of that world. What you gonna say? I don't know, but you know me. I always think of something. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. I thought you were going in the kitchen. In light of the circumstances, I felt that we need a lot more privacy. Mom, I invited Maggie down here to prove a point to you. Mike uses older women. What business is it of yours to prove anything to me? This is my life, and this is my happiness. It is my business because I am your daughter, and I love you. I care about you. I have been there for you when Dad passed when grandma passed, and you have been there for me. So why would you let Mike come in here? It took me a long time to get over your father. And I know your father provided for us. He saw to it that you could go to school, not just get a bachelor's, but get a graduate degree. All I've ever wanted is for you to be happy. I never judged you. And I thought I raised you to be respectful of me, of me. Mom, I love you. I love I you. you. Love me. I know you love me. But do you respect me? Of course I respect you, Mom. It doesn't feel like it. This is my happiness. It took me a long time to be able to just get out with people again. And Mike is just a friend. I'm not trying to marry him. Mama, what about me? 
<laughs> what about me? What about all of my needs? Huh? You see everything that I'm going through? You see everything I'm going through? My problems with men? You just leave me? I have never, ever <laughs> left you. you. Oh, I'm not leaving you. Mama will never leave you. But Mama's not going to interfere with the decisions that you make regarding whom you want to spend time with their love. I just want to be happy. You are my joy. You are my baby. But I just want to be happy. He's just a friend. I used to be your joy, Mom. <laughs> I used to be your happiness, Mom. You couldn't even tell me that you were with this boy. I had to come home and walk in to find a surprise. When did you start keeping stuff from me? I have never, ever kept anything from you, Mom. I don't think that we're gonna be able to resolve this. And I think that I should leave so that you can think about it. And my happiness, I love you, baby. But I have to leave you right now, just for a minute. Just for a minute, baby. I, guess I just need to leave this room for a minute. Mom, for what? We're talking right now. I need to talk to Maggie. For what? She's a guest in this house, and I think she is owed an explanation. I want to be a gracious host, and I just need to take care of this. So if you'll forgive me, please excuse me.
crazy. I love her. My greeters. Telemundo. Limited Vida Loca. I blossed that spin Negro. Oh my God. I'm crazy. Oh, I'm playing. I'm playing you. I'm playing you. Go, go, go. What? Yes, I am on vacation. Well, I came out here to get away from you. I don't care if you're thinking about me. Why don't you think about that woman I saw you with? <laughs> you know what, Brownie? I'm not gonna let you stress me. I'm over you. It's about time I start to focus on myself. Goodbye. Chichi showed me this Mexican Sutra book. You mean Kama Sutra? No, no, no. It's the Mexican version. Oh, boy. It got me one to call town. Ooh. Call it. No. Oh. 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 Who's that, the police? Open up, daughter. I want some tacos. I don't know who that is. Who's that? You want to another one of your tricks? I'm over you, for now. Hello. How you doing, chilly holiday? How's it going? What's going on, Scottface? Nice house. Don't dip in my guacamole, okay, man? Okay, no problem. Who are you? Hi, I'm Rodney. I'm uh, Karen's boyfriend. Mm-mm. You ain't Karen's boyfriend. I wasn't talking to you, Weavy Wonder. Boyfriend? Oh, this is about to get good. Hey, Sylvie, guess who's here? Oh, you couldn't find no lotion from LA to Mexico, huh? You need some lotion on them tights? They just let you out to the zoo, you monkey. That's your mama escaped from the zoo, actually. You don't even know my mama, son. You don't even know nothing about my mama. My mama is a Christian woman that pay her tithes and she is on time every week. You know what I'm saying? She work a part-time job. Let me go. And she wear green. She love Hondas. She like tulips. My mama wear black caps sometimes. My mama been in New York before. You know what I'm saying? T, T, you cool? Yeah. Karen, this is not a holiday inn. If you're gonna have more guests, we're gonna need mas pesos. I'm not paying any more money. Remember, you two were not supposed to be here. Hey, 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 everybody, cool, just chill. Uh, I can sleep with Karen, it's okay, it's no problem. You're not sleeping with me. So who is this? This is my boyfriend. Oh, so now I'm your boyfriend? Come on. You better slow your road. We don't know you or your five dollar weed. Why are you here, Rodney? Coming to see you. For what? Look, I miss you. I really miss you. Um, it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? Rodney, you cheated on me with a white woman. So that's the issue. She's a white woman. No, the issue is, is that you cheated on me. Karen, that's why I'm here, baby. I mean, I know I cheated. I did wrong. I came here to make things right. All right, they gotta count for something, all right? <laughs> well, look, if you came to apologize, you can leave. Come. Unfortunately, I can't leave. Why not? I bought a one-way ticket here. Why would you buy you a one-way ticket? I got one-way ticket money. So what, you expect me to pay for your way back, Rodney? No, but there's a $30 cab fee outside. That, you know, he outside right now waiting. See? Now, Karen, Karen, come on. All right, forget it, I, I, I got it. All right, look, I came all this way to apologize to you. I realize I've done you wrong and it was uncalled for. And 
Yeah, me with the white woman, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, what you realize is that you don't have a woman to take care of you. Did your white woman not take care of you like I did? Look, me coming out here got to count for something. You know, I've changed man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm trying to man up since I'm the only man around here. So, unfortunately, you're not. What? You're not. My mom brought some boyfriend with her. <laughs> what? Your mama got her old fossil. That's what's up. Well, old is the last thing he is, if you only knew. What? Is he dark skin? Yeah. Like six feet? About. Low cut season? Yeah, how do you know? What? Out of here. Got him fresh off the big wheel, huh? <laughs> Dang, go mama. Ronnie, this is not uh, funny. Uh, look, Karen, seriously. I am a changed man. I realized all the past that, I, you know, realized my past I've done. I, I have not been the greatest man at all. You know what I'm saying? I am a changed man. And how have you changed, Ronnie? I have changed. I realize I've changed into a nice, thick, pretty, round, big Out old. Out of here. Don't get Damn! Oh. Alright, look, Karen, the don't get my nose. Damn. You been looking at the wings? Alright, look. I am truly sorry. I deserve that. I'm truly sorry. I apologize. I want to start over. <laughs> we can, can start over, chance? Rodney, yes. But I would not be your woman. I would not be your girlfriend. I would not be in your life like that. But I will let you stay here. But you won't be sleeping in my bed. <sighs> sleeping is different than that. Karen, <clears throat> I need to talk to you. Mike, this is not the time. I have something to say. What do you have to say to me? Your boy Rodney is not a good guy. You don't even know Rodney. I've known guys like him. I've seen him. I knew this guy named Craig. He had women all over the place, making promises to them that he couldn't keep, get second and third chances, only to disappoint those that he was promising. And I see that same guy in Rodney. Mike, I don't need to take any advice from you. How do I know you're not like that guy? Because I don't want to be like that guy. That guy was Craig Williamson, my father. And my mother was one of the ones that he was promising. And I would never want to share that kind of pain and disappointment with anyone. Now, you may not like me, but I'm in love with your mother. And there's nothing that you can do that's going to drive me away from her. So the best thing that you and I can do is try to get along. At least for her sake. You know, Mike, I've lost every battle since I've been here. It's because you're the only one fighting. Well, I don't have any strength left to fight. I'll see you around. Oh, Mike. I have not had this much fun since Joe. Joe. Yeah, Joe, my late husband. He died 10 years ago, Karen's oh, father. Oh, oh. Yeah. You know, I've really been enjoying you, Sylvie, since we've been down here. Oh, gosh, Mike, I have enjoyed you, too. And I do apologize about Karen and Tina snapping on you the way they've been. Snapping? Snapping, um, insulting. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. It's cool, I didn't get so salty about it anyway. Salty? What's that? Yeah, I didn't get tight about it at all. T what is tight? I wasn't insulted. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh. I'm really feeling you, Sylvie. Feeling me? Feeling you, yeah. Uh, I guess that means you like me or something? Yeah, yeah, I like you. I really oh. like you. Oh, okay. Is okay? Yeah, yeah, I like you too. <laughs>
Isn't this house great? It's totally groovy. Groovy. Um, nice. Oh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> You're right, it is nice. Yeah. Groovy. <laughs> what? What's funny? feeling just a little bit awkward right now and um, could you excuse me? Awkward? Why? I can't explain it. Just excuse me. Speedy was going to say, Chichi, I want to be forever f with you. Forever with Chichi. He was going to put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. Si. Mm -hmm. No. No? What is this? A cucumber. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is this? A carrot. No. This is a Speedy. No, no. This is a Speedy. And this is a Carlos. And this is the Jacuzzi. This is what happened. This is what happened. You got it going on, and you take care of him, and you say, Speedy, come to my house. Chichi, take care of you. Chichi, love you. You just love Chichi back. So he was on the, what? I, I don't understand. The L. The down low. See. <gasps> can you, can you, I said, Dios mio, what are you going to do now? Huh? You tell Chichi, what are you going to do now? I come in here, I'm going to tell my friends. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell him Speedy has un... No love for Chichi. Mm -mm. He want pee pee. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Is you is that you what you want me to say? That's, that's what's happening. You know what? I read a book on um. It was called Men Who Love Thug Love, and it was so crazy. It was this dude. His name was um Suavecito, and he just loved men. Like I don't know. Like it, you know, it just opened my eyes up to what can really be. You don't need that though. Okay, because um, <clears throat> Tyrone got a friend. His name is Death. Girl, and I can hook you up. Death. Mm-hmm. Ooh, is this is this where where is where is this Death? He's in Inglewood. Inglewood. Mm-hmm. Inglewood. I go to Inglewood. You come to Inglewood. I go and I say hello, Death. This Chichi. You love Chichi all the time now. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he just got out of the penitentiary because, you know, he was on in there for some domestic disputes. But you know. He was saved and he's been delivered since then. He gonna save mm -hmm. and gonna deliver for Gigi now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I go to your wood. I'm gonna pack my stuff. I'm gonna go with you. And you're gonna show me this death. Okay. And I'm gonna be like, hello, death. Right. So when you meet death, mm -hmm. like when you wake up to the mor in the morning to him, yes. like I'm gonna teach you how to prepare to meet death. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you land and you wake up, right? It's like, good morning, Death. Good morning, Death. All right, let's add, good morning, Death, baby. Good morning, Death, baby. Hit that baby again, baby. Baby? That's good, that's good. Okay. Give me that, Chichi. Hey. Hey. Chichi's happier now because, okay, I don't want to even think about this. Okay, okay. so I go and I say, good morning, Death. Baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you say good morning, Dad, baby. Now, when y'all go out and like hang out, then yes. you got to do what he said. I do what he said. Yeah. Wait. No, we do what Chichi said. 
No, 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 no. We do what Def said. He a thug, girl. Thug. That's the difference between Speedy and a thug. A thug might give you death. Okay, so I go, I go, hello, Death, mm-hmm. baby. Mm-hmm. Let's go out. Chichi want to go out. What if he say he don't want to go out? Then y'all don't go out. What I do? You I go out. I, Chichi, go out by myself. Okay, you can go out by yourself, but if you say you can't go out, Chichi, you can't go out. I can't go out. He, he, tell, he tell Chichi what to do? He might. I don't know if I like this stuff. This is so very final. I mean, you know, it might be, but you'll have the love you need. Chichi love. Chichi love. Mm-hmm. Chichi love. Yeah. Well, you think about it. I'm going to go... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go wash my clothes. Okay. Gigi, remember, keep love alive, boo. I keep it. Boo. Sylvie, come here. Mine? Before we met, my life was filled with so much sadness and loneliness. But then you came and filled it with so much joy and laughter and love. And I would like to spend the rest of my life making you as happy as you've made me. Sylvia, please say that you'll marry me. blossomed in ways that I never imagined could ever be possible. And I care so deeply for you. But I can't marry you. I can't. The other night when we were dancing, I recognized that we have this huge communication gap. I sound like somebody from the 60s and 70s and you are a man of today. And then when I saw you dancing with Chi Chi, it wasn't the Chi Chi thing. I just realized that you deserve to be with a woman closer in your age. So she can give you children. I can't give you children. And I want you to be with someone that you can grow with as opposed to watching me grow old. I still love Joe. I still love Joe. And Karen needs me. She has shown both of us during this vacation that she still needs me. She needs her mother. And I have to be there for her. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I
going on in here? Mm-hmm. And I've been meaning to get at you. And what is it you think you're about to do? Karen, handle your business. I want everybody out. You can pack your bags. See ya. You haven't changed, Rodney. Oh, I got this for you. You this can get this from me. Stop playing games with me. You haven't gotten anything from me. You're cheating on me over and over again after everything I do for you. No, oh, I'm cheating, please. You know what, Ronnie, it's cool. It is so over. I guess you need to find your way back home. Karen, sit. Get out, Ronnie, now. Hey Mike, well I guess I'm getting out of here. Sorry about any rifts I've caused. Hey, it looks like you and Sylvia got a good thing going. Hope that works out for you. I'll call you. Bye. Mm, apologies again for everything. Um, looked like it worked out for the best. The first real thing you said to me. Yeah, well, um, this cab driver's still out here waiting for his 30. Right, you don't get out of my face. Hey, you eat pork? Sorry, this is a girl. <laughs> now them two belong together. Oh, regular TV, telephone, <laughs> cable. <laughs> well, I sure did appreciate having fun with you guys. Thank you. I hope there's no hard feelings between us. None taken. You're a really cool guy. Thank you. You're cool also. Thank you. 21, give me some. <laughs> all right. You all right. Be safe. We'll do it. Mike. I am so sorry about what happened back there in Mexico. You have to know that I did not mean to hurt you. And we can still see each other. At the gym. <laughs> Mom, why don't you give him a ride home? Well, I'm good. My ride should be here soon. Oh, he's coming here now. What's up, bro? You good? Good. So who's your people, man? This is Sylvia. How you doing, Sylvia? Hi, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Tina. What's up? And this here Hold is. Hold on, bro. I got this, man. So did you go to night school too? Well, if uh, Princeton is night school, I guess I did. Well, in that case, I'm here. Nice to meet you, Ken. I'm Mike. So what do you do? Well, actually, right now I'm working on my thesis for medical law. Hmm. Maybe one day we can work together. Me and you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That sounds cool. So I'm about to get your number, give you a call sometime. We can work on that. Her brother knows how to contact me. Mm -mm. See, her number is 310. T. <laughs> See, no. No doubt. I'm trying to get her hooked up. Appreciate it. Well, uh, it was definitely a pleasure meeting you. You too. I'm going to give you a call soon. Nice meeting y'all.
you just told me you had a brother. Girl, you never asked me. Uh, well, looks like I got me a new friend now. And I think I have me a new friend too. Karen, baby, I love you. I love you, Mom. <laughs> oh, no, see, there you go, Mom. Oh, huh? I don't know. Who needs a man now? Who needs a man now? Huh? <laughs> Mike, Ike, Ron, John, I know your mama had triplets. I I know. You could just hook me up with your uncle, cousin, nephew, brother, granddaddy. I'll take him too. Dog, cat, come on, y'all. Just hook me up, please. I just need to. <laughs> 